Well, believe it or not, Jim, we are just 10 days away from this year's TC10K. And while many months, or in my case, days of training will be put to the test on April 29th, Mike Walker has an inside look at a local running group that cannot wait for race day. It should come as no surprise that amongst the 14,000 participants in this year's TC10K will be athletes of all skill levels. I'm very excited. First time running, I've participated in the Sun Run before, uh, but we just moved here from Collingwood, Ontario, and we thought it would be a really good way to get to know our community. Oh, I'm a rookie on this one. Yeah, I haven't uh, done any running for 40 years. I think it was my goal to start running when I turned 50, when I was turning 50, and my goal was to do 10 10Ks in a row. This is year number nine. If you want to be able to just get up, have your normal breakfast. And regardless of their experience, the runners and walkers in Doug Anderson's clinic have a leg up heading into the race. It is designed for beginners, so somebody who's never run at all could come and uh, start out, uh, tie on their shoes and get going. Um, at the other end, we have people who have been running for a while and want to run faster or maybe becoming a little more competitive, want to better their times. I, I'm a big fan of these clinics, and you can start anywhere and you can finish up anywhere. They're so gradual, there's um, not a lot of room for injuries, it's just a really great way to, to do it. Well, the uh, information that we've been given is just wonderful, uh, really helpful for me for training, for diet, for uh, exercise and so forth, so I really glad that I went this route rather than just trying to run out, go out there and run it. <laughs> My own viewpoint is that it's not about running, it's actually just about personal health and, and staying a, a little fitter, a little happier, a little healthier. <laughs> but beyond the technical skills and training, there's a feeling of camaraderie in this group that turns the task of running 10,000 meters into the simple joy of completing a 10K. I think we really make a commitment to each other. And so when you really don't feel like coming, you come because you know your teammates are waiting for you and they're kind of counting on you. We've helped one another just by uh, telling each other technique ideas. Uh, sometimes when I'm running, somebody will say, you know, correct your breathing here, uh, get your form better. Almost every time we finish a run, they say to me, I've never run that fast before and I didn't know I could do that. So it's really neat to see people challenging themselves at whatever level they're at, whether it's somebody who's, you know, used to be, I think a long walk was from the recliner to the fridge, uh, and now they're out here and they're going to walk 10K in a week and a half. And that could be all the advantage they need come April 29th.